with the joy and jubilation they all came to reflect and commemorate the social, political and economic achievements of women during the decentralized Women's Day in Lira City. <laughs> In a parade led by Mera Kao, women marched with vigor and energy to prove their worth and impartiality. The Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Dr. Mary Goretti Gidudu, officiated the ceremony on behalf of the Speaker of Parliament, Hannes Anita Mong. Gidudu hailed President Museveni for trusting women in the fight against poverty. Because like I've told them, only 9% of the women have ever borrowed money in banks because many of them fear Others don't have any collateral to give in the banks, but government is easing all these because like Uganda Development Bank is now giving loans to women if they have a, someone to guarantee. So that's why I'm here also to urge women to be in groups. Uh, when they are in groups, those groups should be able to work and get money, be focused so that they are able to get money. Gidudu also handed over the speaker's donation of 20 million towards the women's circle in Lira City. Now, district circles normally bring women together so that these other smaller groups come and feed into them. Uh, this, they teach, they are taught how to look after their own money. And once they are together, then other groups can bring in more money, like banks. Minister of Health Dr. Jane Ruther Cheng, who organized the event, urged all women to respect their husbands and work hard to create wealth in their families. Because this is what we are called to do as women, we have to be submissive to the men. In spite of the theme of the day, which is gender equality, we still know that we need to respect our husbands because besides every woman or besides every man, there is a partner that gives you strength to do what you're doing. Acheng also pledged to support women's initiatives and warned them from unnecessary conflicts. Avoiding courts of law, avoiding unnecessary wrangles, unnecessary riots, unnecessary fights and killing one another. We need to have peace if we are going to advance development in Lango sub-region. International Women's Day is celebrated on the 8th of March every year. In Uganda, district celebrations are always held later to encourage communities at local levels commemorate and reflect on their achievements and challenges. Edi Olua, UBC News.